I was not thinking that I should recording something today on a Sunday, June 18, 2023. <clears throat> but some they will never know about life. It can certainly change and be something else. And my name is uh, Anna Virginius. I live in Sweden, in Helsingborg city. And um, it was, uh, I wake up in the night uh, about two, three o'clock. It seems like it is the most uh, opening to receive from afterlife. And... Um, I receive also when I'm recording, but uh, for like ordinary people, is it about two, three o'clock, like uh, in the middle of the night, when uh, we are most relaxed, when when they can come through, but people think that. Dreams are only dreams and not reality. But uh, it is uh, many times that they want to message you, give you something from afterlife. And um, it was so, I wake up at between two or three like that. I didn't look at the clock, but uh, I... I think it was in that time when it was uh, my doorbell was ringing and I I don't think uh, it's so seldom people uh, is on my door so I don't know but I think it it was not uh, my doorbell's uh, signals but it was signals but I understood it was a spirit thing. So I didn't went up. I only fall back to sleep again. And uh, and then I was thinking that uh, it maybe had something to do with uh, my relatives that come and help me with a chair yesterday. And uh, I was ready to to write uh, one of them uh, on uh, uh, Facebook uh, be, uh, about after five o'clock. It's hard to sleep now when it's very much light. Uh, so I was I was going to bed earlier yesterday so I also wake up earlier and but uh, I go back to sleep after Facebook and was sleeping till um, about uh, 8 30 and but I, I open up my computer and then on uh, Facebook, and I was thinking I should message this boy about someone I have coming through and talk to him because I uh, just after I heard the signals on the door that was not my door. But after that, I saw a man. I say to this, um, that call on my door to come in. So he he come in. And and I am not frightened anymore about what happened around me in my home. And uh, he... uh, and I saw him, I don't know why he was standing in the left of the picture that what I saw. 
He was standing on the left side from me, uh, what I saw. And uh, he had like a jacket on. And I was thinking he looked a little like um, no, coming from the north of the United States or or Canada, like that, and um, and he, it was like he was cold. So he come in into my home, and he and he was standing there. I saw him, and uh, and but I he didn't say anything. I only saw him, and then I fall to sleep, and. Uh, uh, this uh, young man that was here yesterday, he he looked a little different in his face. So I was thinking that it maybe it's uh, ancestor to this young man that come through, and uh, like a, a native uh, native. Uh, American Indians uh, like that, or S Greenland like that. This uh, Asian look like, but uh, I was not really. Uh, it was not clear the face that I saw. Uh, but I was thinking like that, and when I open up the Facebook to write this young man then uh, someone else uh, uh, a friend of facebook that have been uh, uh, with me for some years because he is related to me so I, it was a post the first i saw on facebook it was a post that his son had passed away this night and uh, and he was i saw i i have never i i didn't know this family more than we are connected because we are related to each other so um i saw he, that he was disabled but he could have done, been disabled of accident and not born like that. He was sitting in a wheelchair, and uh, uh, the the left side of, of him was disabled. The right side was okay. Uh, so. Uh, so I understood, because the picture come up into my face, that he had a black brown hair and a little rounded uh, face. Uh, and I wrote to his father. I, I did a condolence for the death of his son. But uh, then I messaged him, so no one, no one else could uh, read it. So I told him what have happened this night. So he said thanks, and uh, I don't know if he understood that he understand this with afterlife. This man that have lost his son. Uh, if uh, he understood the afterlife, uh, but maybe he he will do it now. When I told him what happened in the night, that his son passed by my my home and show himself for me on his way to heaven, and. And it's been more clear and clear for me. It's uh, it's confirmed very much, because uh, his son was related to me, and those people that have coming through, 
in some ways they are um, they are related to me and it can also be people that have been in my life in some situations that uh, make a mark <clears throat> what what's going on like this man that come crying to me and and say uh, in his uh, in afterlife he come through and and he was crying and he say that uh, he asked me for forgiving him because he never told anyone what he have seen and that he have seen my brother and my sister have beating me up so much that I couldn't stand up. I was laying on the ground when he come and helped me to be to uh, make my uh, my siblings to run away from him, and he could uh, lift me up. And I don't know what. I don't remember more than I remember that I saw him coming running to me uh, when I was laying down on the ground and bleeding and he he came running and I was scared that's why I remember him uh, I be remember the situation that he was coming running and my brother and sister have make me be scared of him. So I try to come up and run away also, but I couldn't run up because they have beaten up me so much. So I have to go to the hospital because of what they have done. Uh, but I, and I remember he come running to me and then I saw him jumping over me. And uh, I don't know. Then I don't remember if he helped me to to my uh, to the home to my mother, or or what happened after that he had done that. Uh, if I could uh, stand up on my own and then go home with all these bleedings. Uh, so uh, he was not related to me, but he was in a situation together with me. So that's why he come through to ask me for forgiveness, because as I have told you about this, that uh, in 2000, when I was on my way to make a suicide, because life was so hard on me and I didn't know God, that uh, the, some spirits come through the, in that time. And uh, he was one of them that come through because um, in the judgment, in the court, in the heavenly court, those uh, uh, God... And the court members who they are really uh, is this uh, six higher priest uh, and God and and uh, and um, I don't know really all of them in the court, but uh, they say that if the one that you have hurt. Uh, so much and really hurt so he was one of these that have really hurt me if the one that you hurt will forgive you for what you have done then you can come into heaven that's what what I understood uh, the uh, what happened in year 2000 I counted uh, like six people come and ask for forgiveness 
it was not higher priests because it was bad people that come and ask for forgiveness and it was so much love in the air so I could only say yes I forgive you uh, so it um, it have been these uh, relatives and people that have been involved in your life that have done some something positive or negative in your life uh, they can come through so uh, when I'm talking about uh, that I see a spirit it doesn't need to be your relatives it can be a, a friend someone uh, being there uh, when you have an accident that have helped you uh, those people can it be also so when you f try to find who is the spirit that talking now you need to also think about those people that have been around you in your life. It can be a boyfriend, girlfriends that are coming through and talk like that also. So it's uh, uh, how to receive the message I, I hear from from afterlife then you also have to make your mindset in that way that is not about the closest family it can be your relatives for 200 years ago it can be your friends that you have had in your life <clears throat> that have passed away of course so they have they are standing in the front of the court and uh, they will and the court uh, want you to judge also and uh, it doesn't need to be just today because when people is coming up to heaven uh, when they have passed away and come to heaven the time stop so it doesn't matter if they were uh, if they died for 200 years ago if they died for one day ago it doesn't matter because it's the same time for everyone in heaven so it's i think it's many times that people shaking in their head and say no it's not for me uh, because I don't know anyone that have died and then you think about your life but what they have done in other generations can affect you today so they can ask you that live here today here on earth today ask you to forgive them because it have effect your life did have affect people in many generation what they have done or what they have said or what they have make laws about like that so you you need to understand there is no time in heaven so everyone is in the same time but also what they have say about heaven is also that it's like layers. They are in different layers what, where they have died. But it's, the layers are not time, but the layers is generations that they, come, they can come through. And uh, that's uh, what I have talked about. When I was staying, staying at the highest top in the layer, and God come and talk to us, and I, I be, like, uh, wanted to hide me because I, 
I thought I should not be on the highest top, so close to God. But those other men that were standing in the same layer as me, they were proud. And they be look at each other and say, we were good, we were good. And all those men fall down to the bottom. They were f- number one first, but w- their proud make them fall to the bottom, the lowest layer. But I was still standing there because I was not proud. I was thinking, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to be here. I'm not so good. Uh, but uh, it was for many years ago. I saw that vision, and uh, today is I'm so much higher up. So I'm not proud of it, but I, I understand that I am on the highest level, level uh, the highest uh, layer uh, today, but in, not in that time. So I was like hiding me <laughs> because I thought I should not be there. So that's what happen in this night and I wanted to recording you this and I want you to uh, think about it uh, what what it means I maybe talk about it another time because it's much for me to think about also to come to understand the afterlife how how it is, but the uh, people can come very quick, as this man, showing. He was about fifty years old, and uh, he come immediately to to me, but maybe for for some seconds to come in into my home, and I'm very sure that. He is in my home, but he is also in heaven. So thank you for listening, and God bless you.